Are we filming? Yes, we are. So welcome, welcome to another video. Um, Happy New Year to those who have yet to watch one of my videos. So I appreciate your your dropping by. Um, I had a mail time a few days ago in which I showed you this, uh, my new latest acquisition, a Filofax Lindhurst in mini size. Lindhurst. <laughs> Lindhurst is a very, very good model in my book. I don't have many in the modern era, many Filofaxes that were made in the modern era. Most of them are vintage ones. But I would say some people, some people would say that this is uh, vintage uh, because it's uh, it's a very, 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 very good binder. Um, I've had many of these uh, different sizes, all the way from A4 here, which I use on a daily basis for projects. Um, and uh, I haven't had a, this is the first mini size one I've had because I've tended to have um, Guildford Mini Extra Slims, which are very, 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 very small. In fact, let's just do a size comparison. Okay, look at that. Look at the size of that. I mean, it's, the difference is enormous, isn't it? Um, and also the uh, the width is is much... There we go. That's probably better if I compare the spines. These are, these are, there's a significant difference here. Although the rings are absolutely identical. 11 millimeter rings. Um, so the capacity is the same. Although there's a, a few tricks of the trade you can use, which I'll explain later, uh, which make this Lindhurst, this Lindhurst very, very good potential very 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 useful uh binder uh i would say pretty good for edc as well if you're into edc i am um but let's first of all talk about the leather because i think that deserves a special special mention because and i just want to refer i can't can't vouch for this one because i'm not the original owner and i've only just acquired it but let me tell you something about the leather on these Lindhurst binders. This A4, which I used every day, for, it's about, I've had it 20 years, uh, but um, up until I retired, I was using this every day in harsh environments. Well, I don't want to over-egg it, but uh, in, in, in tough environments, and there's no cracking of the leather both on the either on the outside or on the inside it, there are no rips no there is some wear and tear but it stood up to the test of time let me just put that back there we go um i have had some experience with personal size and also a5 size in fact uh, i just think the the lindhurst range the lindhurst model is is exceptional very very good uh, i rank it very very highly indeed um and it had a very very long production run um i checked the courtesy of the file faxi website i checked some of the catalogs um this binder uh particularly the mini size because it didn't have a, a the same length of production as larger sizes but this the Filofax made this. It was in their catalogues from, let me just double check. So 2002, uh, as far as I can tell, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, certainly appeared in the 2002 catalogue uh, and every catalogue since then until 2012, 2013, certainly in the UK catalogue. Um, if you look at the 2014 catalogue, you'll find that this is still available in A4, A5 and personal, uh, but for some reason they decided to delete, to delete this. So, a good 10 years production. 
um, which is indicative of the file effects not having too many returns. Um, let's have a look at the thing that many of you are asking. What is the flattability like? Well, let's have a look. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the flattability is poor with a capital P. It's not good. Um, but having said that, that is that is down to the construction. It's down to the construction and uh, in combination with the zip. It's a tricky. It's a tricky thing. I mean, if you compare that with one of my let's let's take this let's take this Guildford executive so the the flattability is perfect with a capital p um one of the differences is the this this is quite a floppy design there's no i don't think there's any stiffness in here at all there might be a very very thin stiffener but the stiffness in the Lindhurst Mini model are incredibly stiff. Incredibly stiff. It's just ridiculous how stiff they are. Um, but it's all part of the design. And I would say, um, for this particular style, uh, where you're, it, it's, it's designed largely to be uh, portable, you're carrying it as an EDC, then from that point of view, uh, flattability, ultimate flattability is not necessarily going to be top of your <coughs> top of your list. I mean it's handy to have, but I would not discount this. Um, as you go higher up the range in terms of size, then flattability does improve. Certainly when you get to the A4 the sheer weight of it, the sheer heft of it, means there's there's no issue with flattability whatsoever. But there is an issue with flattability. One, uh, but but I accept it. I accept it. I could definitely use this as an EDC without having to worry too much about flattability because I will be uh, I will be not using it for long periods i will just be opening it jotting something down possibly holding this with my hand and keeping it open with uh, my finger like that so that i can i can i can use it so um i would say that uh I, i'm okay i'm okay with with not having flattability because there are certain advantages um Let's have a look at the leather, because as I was saying, the leather is fantastic, but I want to make a brief comparison with models that were available during the time that the Firefax Lindhurst was being sold. If you take the Executive Mini here, you can see that it suffers from this appalling, this appalling sort of deterioration of the leather it's actually described i mean i won't go and bundle on it but it's described as deluxe leather clearly my definition of uh deluxe leather differs from the filofax's definition but this is this is a common occurrence on certain models if you take the guildford mini extra slim which other than the leather let's have a look at this one other than the other than the leather i i, I rate as probably the best design that Final Fats have ever produced. Uh, you get the splitting of the leather here. And in this one, it was so appalling. I just got a toothbrush and uh, wet it. And then just in circular motions, I removed all the leather, which was so microscopically thin, it came off in, you, you only had to almost look at it and the, and the leather was falling off it in chunks. Um, certainly, this is an issue now, even though I, I don't really use this that much. Uh, this is the Guildford Mini Executive because if you have this out and you you know you, every time you open it, there are tiny chunks of leather uh, detritus falling on the tablecloth if you're in a cafe or a restaurant and you have to sweep them off before the maitre d notices. Uh, so. <laughs> so this isn't this is this is the Achilles heel of this the Achilles heel of the 
the Firefox Lindhurst is poor flattability, but in general, in every other aspect, this is an excellent, an excellent binder. Uh, but there are some pros. So there are some further pros and cons. Um, so, one of the uh, let's just let's just check the rings on this one. I know it varies from model to uh, model, to, not model to model, but example to example. But these ones, luckily, uh, got through the raw mail's postal system without damage, despite the poor packaging. Um, it's always a bit of a lottery because so many sellers have haven't got a clue how to pack something in a in a sturdy, secure manner. Um, but what have we got here? We've got three credit card slots. Uh, this arrived really, really dirty. That's another thing. Why do sellers send? Why do they send file faxes to buyers without cleaning them first? I I just don't understand that. If you bought a car, if you if you were selling a car, would you take it to the car wash or would you leave it dirty? I I just don't understand. So let's just. Um, Let's just give this a brief clean. This isn't a perfect example, but you can see, I don't know whether you can see, but that makes a, a, a bit of an improvement anyway. Um, my nose is twitching, so this is, this is one of the, here I am cleaning this, and this is probably dead, somebody else's dead skin, and, I, and, it's, and it's into the atmosphere and I'm breathing it in. I mean, that's not, that's not good, is it? But... Uh, I would. I probably need to do this outside um, to be be uh, safer. Um, but what have we got? Okay, so we we have got eleven millimeter rings. Um, we have. It looks like a perfect zip. Uh, it looks like there is no deterioration of the leather. My my nose is really itching. Three credit card slots, and then we have. A pen loop. Let's just try the pen loop. Uh, let's just see if it's the standard. So this is a Filofax pen and it fits perfectly. It fits perfectly. So this, it's, it's not an obscure interesting size. It is the standard. It's the standard size. Is it a fold over one? Yeah. So, so you really need to have a pointy pen rather than a snub nose pen because if you try a sub, this won't fit. But if you try and oh, oh look at that! Now I don't know where you can see there, but it's going in, but it's not going past the hem. As you know, I'm not a fan of these cheap fold-over pen loops where they've used a thinner piece of leather and just folded it over to give the illusion of thicker leather. Uh, but that will only go as far as the hem. So you absolutely, on this particular one, because of the fold-over design, you must have a pointy pen. But that's that's no big deal, so long as you you're aware of that. Um, let's talk about these. Let's talk about these pockets because they are. Um, I can't say they're next to useless because. Um, oh, I am so. My nose is so itchy, excuse me. I, I must remember, notes to self, or I must jot it down in my file of facts, actually. Do not attempt to clean somebody else's file of facts in your, in your studio. Do it outside. Um, these pockets, now let me just, let me just show you here. Um, I am trying with some difficulty to get this pocket open and can I get a f can I get one finger in there just about let's try the other one yeah well that is so tight I can barely get my finger in so hardly uh, hardly very useful if you compare them to say my executive which doesn't have stiffness um look at that despite the fact that there are no gussets the very fact that this is a floppy 
Filofax design with probably no stiffener or, or a very, very thin stiffener in there, you can actually use that pocket very easily for stuff. And on the other side, so you've got another one, perfect. So this is a really, really good design if you want to use the pockets. So what, what are these pockets going to be used for? Well, not a lot really, but there is a, there is a trick or a, a, an idea. Um, and that is, if you get any sort of notebook like these, so here's a Rodeo one, here's a Claire Fontaine one. If you cut these down so that they will actually, I'm not going to do it because, oh, well, I'm just not going to do it, but you can see that um, the there is at least, oh, it's so difficult to, it's so difficult to achieve this. Um, so I can't, I can't really show it. But what, I, what I'm alluding to, what I'm alluding to is the fact that with such a large, such, such a, such a wide, um, a wide binder. So you can see that this is the mini executive and this is the Lindhurst. Uh, you can actually get more than just the paper. So you could in here, so you could get a reasonable number of sheets of paper in here, depending on the, the, the thickness of the paper the grade of the paper. Uh, I suspect that I would be able to get, um, I could fill the fill the 11 millimeter rings, but then I could slip, I could get a, get a razor blade and literally cut and cut this down so that it would fit into, into here. It wouldn't take, it wouldn't take much. And then if you, if you look at this, you might be able to slot one of these in either the front or the back cover, or if these were thin enough, you could have them on both sides. Or more uh, more likely, you could, uh, with a bit of DIY, you could make your own. So you could have a notebook on this side just slipped in into here, and a notebook on this side slipped in, and... And then you would have almost a mobile office if if you wanted. Or you could have as a as an alternative, you could have um a couple of Ziploc bags that are mini size, punch for mini size. I believe Filofax do them, and that you could then put pens in here or stamps or coins or whatever. Um and so this this would become a very very useful sort of EDC unit, um, and for that reason that reason I rate this design very very highly. I don't need to worry about the uh, the lack of flattability because that's not really important for this to, for for the purpose to which this binder is likely to be put by the end user. Um, you've got a you've got a a pocket here which it can actually you can actually put your fingers in there and uh, so there's there's room to put stuff uh, so I I think overall this is a really really good design uh, it gets my seal of approval yeah I like it I like it a lot um, I don't know whether they'll sell this on now I've reviewed it, or whether I'll keep it in my collection for a while, or maybe even start using it. I don't know. Um, we'll we'll see over the over the coming months. Uh, but I I actually think this is a fantastic design. Well done, Filofax. I appreciate you making this. Anyway, until my next video. Thanks very much. And goodbye.